Sunday, week two. Sunday is normally long run day, but considering I can't really run about six miles an hour, it's probably just gonna be normal run day. And we're off. Okay, uh, I've run out four miles to my turnaround, and let's see if we make it back. Eight miles, okay, not too bad. One hour, eight and a half minutes, pace 8.32. I mean, at least I did the eight miles. Can't complain, good for now. Tuesday run, what's your expectation? Start run. <laughs> <laughs> Easy run for an hour, something like that, eight or nine miles maybe. Oh, it's a bit cold. Okay, off you go then. Yeah. Back. There'll be a bunch of babies soon. I see Deepa coming back the other way. Alright. Looking happy. Oyster Point Ferry Terminal. It's the four mile mark. Seven miles in. Calves are getting pretty sore. So I'm gonna cut get back in eight probably. Save the calves for another day. Eight miles, a little under one hour, seven minutes. Average heart rate 144. So that's better, a little faster and lower heart rate. Today's limiting factor was calves definitely. Muscles just aren't used to the workload. But fitness was good, happy with that. I think Deepa has gone longer on the second half. Whereas I cut. Ah, <laughs> I can see it coming now. <laughs> How was it today? Good, 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 always 10 or 20 beats higher than me. Thursday. So the third run this week. The problem with running in the afternoon round here is it tends to get very windy. Nothing too bad. Also, this is kind of a low carb run. Haven't eaten very much yesterday and haven't eaten for 14 hours or something. I'm two miles in, I can definitely feel the effects of no fuel, heavy legs, high heart rate. Wish it had gone the other way. Ow. So I've somewhat optimistically decided to run a bit further before turning around. You know, we're just on five miles right now. These low blood sugar runs, they tend to make you feel sort of half asleep, which makes it a little dreamlike in a weird way. It's not a runner's high, if anything it's a runner's low, where things are kind of shut down and you kind of drift along. If you do the smiling technique, where you just run like this, it actually makes you feel better and go faster. So the challenge is, smile for the next two miles home. At the end of that lake. Definitely uh, low blood sugar right now, which is good. Good because you need it for the end of the marathon. The first third, you're full of fuel, you run too fast. The middle third, you sort of settle in. And the last third, you pay for running too fast at the beginning, because it feels like this for eight miles, if you get it wrong. Okay. Definitely worked for that one. 10 miles, 1 hour and 24 minutes, 8.22 pace. Average heart rate, 155, with a high of 171. 
pretty happy overall. My right knee is quite sore now, I've stopped, and that's a cartilage kind of sore. And that could be the thing that gets in the way of this training the most. We'll just have to see. Week two of 17. Uh, so still a long way to go. Deeper got running this week, did a couple of runs, total 13 miles at 10.56. Her heart rate's always higher. 168 average for her and uh, average beats in a mile at 18.39. VO2 at 40 and weighing 112 pounds. So her prediction of 5.11 is a long way outside of her capability. And for me, I got three runs in, 26 total. The average pace was about the same. My heart rate was slightly higher. No real surprise when you run longer, uh, tend to get a higher heart rate. And so were the uh, beats in a mile. VO2, uh, it actually went down in the middle and came back up. So it went to 52 and then came back to 53. So uh, it's flat for the week and I weigh the same. We've got some new scales. So the prediction is fractionally better.